finally, Sometimes Always is a 2020 drama written and directed by Eliza Hittman and starring Sidney Flanagan, Talia Ryder and Theodore Pellerin. And never rarely, sometimes always, in a year that so far, unfortunately, due to the virus and due to messed up release schedules, has been quite underwhelming, this film is easily the best one I've seen. Um, never rarely, sometimes always, is a powerful and emotionally hard-hitting drama that is extremely low-key. And that, in my opinion, is its defining characteristic, because this is a film that tackles a serious subject that is teen pregnancy and abortion. And we've seen this countless times in a lot of other films, and it's always treated either in a very funny way, like, I don't know, like Juno, um, like Obvious Child, it's either otherwise in a very sappy way, very melodramatic, uh, with uh, freakouts and uh, oh, family dramas, what's right, what's wrong, morality, and never rarely, sometimes always scales things down. It brings it to a level that's more real, to a level that's more believable, to a level that feels more personal than any of those other films. Uh, even though those are good films, don't get me wrong, but this one feels special in its authenticity and in the fact that there is no judging going on, which is definitely the reason why I loved it. You are following a girl going through something that many others have gone through over the years. Um, and it's a painful journey, it is hard, um, all of the emotional stuff, it's never explicitly stated. It all is conveyed through the visuals and the performances, which are fantastic. Both Sydney Flanagan and Talia Ryder are great, especially Sydney. She does a terrific job in one of her first performances. Um, there is a lot that's not said in this film. That is, again, just through the simple looks, the simple breaks in dialogue and things like that, you understand what's going on internally with the characters. And visually as well, this is shot in 16mm, it's not a digital film, and that works very well to its favor, it grounds it even more visually, um, and it makes almost a guerrilla style of filmmaking approach to it when it's in the New York sequences. It works in a gritty and raw way that's not in the sense of like those crime dramas that they usually talk about, but more in the sense of just, again, grounding it. And that was the director's key goal, demystifying something that's unfortunately routine, some might say, um, not having slut shaming or any of those problems and just focusing on the reality of the situation and embracing it and accepting it. And that's the biggest achievement of Never Rarely, Sometimes Always, and which is also the reason why I think it's the best film so far this year. It is very deep emotionally and thematically, made absolutely brilliantly. It's just overall a great film, and I highly recommend you watch it. For a year that's been kind of underwhelming, especially unfortunately for independent cinema due to our distribution releases, this is one that you have to check out as soon as possible. But still, guys, if it was never really sometimes always, what do you think about it? Tell me in the comments below. If you guys watching, make a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.